morning, Bulldogs. I'm Lia Brache. And I'm Elizabeth Grana. And today is May 21. As we all know, the Oscars took place on April 25th of 2021. So just in case you missed out, here's Emily Castaneda giving you a recap on the events at the Oscars. This year's Oscar ceremony was certainly a night to remember. The 93rd Academy Awards was different from any of the previous ceremonies. In response to the pandemic, attendance was limited to nominees and their plus ones. The capacity at the Union Station venue was capped at 170, compared to the 3,000 typically seated at the Dolby Theatre. There were also smaller hubs in other countries to accommodate for guests who couldn't travel. Attendees were quarantined, fully vaccinated, and were COVID tested multiple times before the event. Despite challenges, producers of the ceremony still wanted it to feel like previous years and avoided Zoom acceptances entirely. Guests were also not required to wear a mask on camera, only during commercial breaks. Additionally, there was a shorter but still glamorous red carpet, as well as pre-recorded musical performances. This year, there were plenty of historic firsts. Chloe Zhao is now the first woman of color to win Best Director for Nomadland, and only the second woman in history. Mia Neal and Jamika Wilson became the first black woman to win an Oscar for makeup and hairstyling. Minari star Yoon Ye Jung became the first Korean to win in an acting category, and Riz Ahmed is the first Muslim to be nominated for Best Actor. These wins for diversity are inspiring, but also disappointing considering that the Oscars have gone on for close to a century and have barely recognized the contributions of women and people of color. Regardless, this year's ceremony could be a step in the right direction and an indicator for big changes in Hollywood. This has been Emily Castaneda reporting for Braddock TV. We have all struggled through this year, especially our teachers. They have been trying their best to educate us through the most difficult time. Let's take a moment to thank our teachers for all they've done for us. Here's Brenda Di Galana with a special message. We have all been going through a lot this year. Not only students, but teachers as well. This is why for this special week, we would like to provide teachers with a special surprise. Hello, Ms. McCormick. I wanted to thank you for being such an amazing teacher, especially during such difficult times, and for helping us seniors prepare for the adult world. Hi, Ms. Saints. It's Celine. I just wanted to make this video to thank you so much for everything you've done for me. You've helped me so much, and you've been one of the best English teachers I've ever had. I just wanted to make this video to say, Happy Teacher Appreciation Week, and I hope it goes by great. I appreciate my teachers because they have to deal with disrespectful students, and they spend most of their life giving an education to hundreds of students every year. Thank you to the students for their amazing messages. Now, us here at Braddock TV have also set up a small surprise for our teachers. We would like to thank the, all the teachers here for everything that they've done, so everyone, please turn on your cameras. Braddock has recently been at their top game when it comes to sports. In order to acknowledge their victories, here is Aiden Correa with more on sports. In this past week, our varsity baseball team beat Coral Reef in district finals 2-1. to one. They played this Friday against Southwest in the regional quarterfinals. Along with them, our boys volleyball team also won districts after defeating Berlin. On a side note, track and field were able to bring back a trophy and win several medals. Congrats, everyone. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at GHB underscore TV. And tune into our YouTube channel on Fridays at 1020 AM. Don't forget to watch our outro. And remember to make it happen with Braddock TV.